Good morning, everyone. I'm here with uh, an industry partner again, uh, doing a second episode of this. I do not know how well uh, it's being perceived, but let's see. Um, I guess I can stick on the uh, the point of bald and balder. Um, I promise maybe next time I'll have someone with more hair than uh, the people you're seeing right now. <laughs> I want to introduce you guys to Shan Jenkins with uh, Jenkins Custom Homes. Um, Shan is an industry partner of ours. Uh, Shan has been in business for three decades now. Has won over 110 awards uh, regionally and uh, internationally. Uh, Shan's company, and um, can't say enough about, um, is a design and build uh, company. And the beauty there, and the reason why we wanted to bring Shan on today and, and have a conversation, sort of discuss what's happening in the building industry, is uh, they handle everything from architectural design to finished home. So it's a one-stop shop. So Shan is seeing stuff on the architectural side. He's seeing stuff on the design side. He's seeing stuff on the building side. Um, we chatted for a minute here. So I know that uh, Shan's going to have a lot of good insight on what is happening uh, and what effects we're having. So good morning, Shan. How are you? Great. Doing great. You know, uh, I, I don't have all the answers like like most of us, but we're, we're, we're wading through it, doing the best we can and uh, trying to keep keep things as normal as possible without obviously being being normal, which some of that's good actually, I think. Yeah, you know what, the, uh, sometimes we all get caught up in the rat race and work, 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 and try to enjoy our downtime. And we don't really realize sometimes that the uh, downtime is, is well received, although uh, sometimes too much downtime uh, can make you go stir crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Absolutely. So Shannon and his, uh, and his wife, Bethany, uh, have been a huge resource in our business and uh, has really helped steer the path. And, and Shan's on top of uh, a lot of organizations and, and stays in touch with the building world. So not only um, do we get to hear a little bit of Shan's expertise from, from building, but also being in the know. Uh, so Shan, I'm just going to go into a couple quick questions and just ask, and, and please let, let me know what you're seeing. Um, so when I put these questions together, initially we were underneath the shelter in place and your industry, just like mine, was completely locked down and there was nothing that could be done. Um, I don't want anyone to believe, and maybe you tell me differently, that just because now the shelter in place or that now that both real estate and building are deemed essential, um, I, I think people, some people, not many, believe that, uh, that we're back to work at full force. I know as real estate, we are not. We're still not showing homes. Um, but tell me what you're seeing as a construction company. What are you seeing as how you're able to move forward? Um, are you able to build? Uh, you know, we're working now. Uh, there's obviously a number of new initiatives that we've undertaken, uh, but on the other hand, a lot of the PPE requirements were, you know, those are normal day-to-day -day practice for us. Not all of them, of course, but, uh, you know, we wear gloves, we wear respirators, we have those available. Uh, most trades have that in their toolbox, uh, in their truck. So that part of it's not uh, so foreign to us. Of course, then there's a lot of new things that we're implementing uh, probably the biggest one is limiting the number of people on the job site but I'll kind of go into more specifics uh, as we go through this but I mean first I would like to say because we are working that uh, we're, we're thankful to be working it's a privilege and a responsibility that we don't take lightly or for granted especially in the environment uh, that we're currently in. Uh, I know a lot of people, uh, including yourself, that can't work or aren't able to work or a lot more impacted uh, maybe than we are. And, you know, we realize we're, we've got two battles that we're having to deal with. We've got the, the virus, which is the obvious uh, health and safety issue, but then we've got the economy to consider also. Uh, I think uh, the last statistics I saw from NHB is uh, residential real estate makes up about 18% uh, 
of the U.S. economy. So you're looking at eight well, of that three to five percent is just residential new construction. So not counting the resales, and that's three to five percent of GDP. So you're looking at uh, eight hundred fifty billion dollars. <clears throat> An economy that uh, essentially was on the verge of being shut down totally. So from that from that angle, we're we're, we're happy and thankful to be working not just as Jenkins Design Bill, but as as our industry uh, as a whole. So the good news, I think, from a health and safety perspective, and specific to your question, is that I think as an industry, we're uniquely qualified. Uh, to work safely in this environment. Like I say, we already wear PPE on a daily basis. We're, we normally have uh, safety talks, safety guidelines on our projects. Uh, so it's not something we're having to learn from scratch. So I think as a, as a citizen, uh, you know, I, I, I have family and, and I don't want them getting sick uh, any more than anyone else wants their family or friends to get sick. So for us, we're, it, we're, we're spending a huge amount of time making sure uh, we're functioning safely. Uh, the NHB put out some guidelines. We're following those. It's a very specific action plan that they've put in place. Uh, we've got to minimize the amount of workers to 10 people. We're pre-screening uh, guys when they show up to the job, uh, taking their temperature. Uh, if they show any signs of, of being sick or not feeling good, obviously we send them home. We've got hand sanitizer now on all our portalettes. Uh, all our guys have gloves, respirators, eye protection, head protection. Et cetera, et cetera. So those are the big things we're focused on now. Yes, we're working, but we want to work safely, not just to protect uh, those that are on the project, but of course, uh, their friends and families at home. Makes complete sense. With uh, the less than 10 in place and, and trying to build a, a custom home and, you know, you built some pretty nice homes and it takes, it takes a village to, to build. Um, what kind of delays are you seeing in the uh, in the construction world right now and just in general i mean if you if you got a custom home and i know it depends on where you are in the stages but um a home that's just been framed what kind of delay is this going to put for the the consumer because there's consumers that have made this decision four or five months ago or let's just say six months ago because they went through design and build and you're finally ready to start uh, and you just framed what kind of delays is going to put on these families I mean, it's kind of too early really to measure the productivity impact it's going to have, but we have had some trades uh, close down their companies. Uh, and so that is definitely going to impact our productivity. Uh, you know, they didn't feel like they were equipped to work safely. So they elected to take some time off until they could get the necessary uh, sanitizers, gloves, respirators, dust masks, uh, those, those items. And uh, so they, they, they shut down. And, you know, they shut down hoping they'd find these things, but it's getting hard to find. We used to have these things readily available at the big box hardware stores, but uh, they've redirected a lot of their inventory to the healthcare industry. So, so this could, this could, uh, slug along slowly i think for a while well then here in austin at least um and correct me if i'm wrong weren't we already at a labor uh shortage anyways as far as the amount of uh i mean we, we're in a pretty aggressive real estate market and we were already low in inventory and there's a lot of people out there working i mean we were already short weren't we yes uh i mean bill times are already elongated uh, at least in our market from, you know, five, six, seven, eight years ago. Uh, so it's already taken longer, but this is only going to exacerbate the problem for sure. 